Are you sick? I can't fear you. I lie. Your cries not on me. It doesn't make me so angry. You can't take it anymore. Send to I may have a solution for you. Turn round, put your hand down. Turn round, the feet of the ground. Turn round, and your head in the clouds. Okay, so here we are. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little kid voice there. It's my little girl. Um, just a little sample of uh, me trying to figure all this stuff out. I felt like I was a little kid trying to figure it out because I stayed up all night trying to get my little tiny whoop um, up and going again. And, you know, I was having the same problem with uh, my Holly brochure, Connect One, um, ex instead of uh, just not arming, it was beeping. I think it like beeped like five times. Um, that's a whole other thing there, but I'm pretty sure it's the same arming situation. I don't know what's going on with the, the 3.2, but uh, uh, the problem seems to be uh, coming up more and more on YouTube. So I decided to make a video on it. All right, so pretty simple. I'm going to do this on my Tiny Whoop, um, just for an example, because it's the first one I fixed. So you want to do is plug in your quad. Make sure you got a good cord. Connect. And uh, these links, I actually got my footage from uh, from Mute FP PV on uh, how to change the endpoints and figured, and also from uh, Joshua Bardwell, um, that if I want one an arm, uh, those two sites was where I got all the information. All the CLI information on the coding and stuff I got from Joshua Bardwell and changing the endpoints on the CLI I got from Mute FPV, this this fella here. Uh, pretty knowledgeable stuff. This guy pretty much dummifies it in text. It just makes it super simple. Um, so, yeah, you plug it in quad. Uh, I always calibrate my sommerator every time I come in here. And you go into your receiver tabs. Let me see if my controller here is uh, hooked up your controller. And what you want to do is you want to start with this first one here, and you want to record your values. See how it's you want all these uh, these three your roll, roll pitch and yaw to uh, show up pretty darn near close 1500. As you can see, my roll is it. Uh, 1493 it should be sitting at 1500 itself bring it all the way down you record that one write it down that's how I did it was or you can copy it into your uh, notepad I uh, just wrote mine down um, a 1000th then you go all the way to the other end and you can see I'm at 1992 uh, make sure you copy all this down and the second one you want to label this as zero one for pitch um, 1000 2000 so you want 1000 2000 um, I've already done this and for some reason it didn't calculate it for my uh, my roll um, yeah it's the same thing roll 1000 it should be at 2000 make sure you're at your most this, this should have been at two there we go 2000 there and throttle should be the same too it should be a uh, look 1000 Whatever you set it at under your um, your configuration to uh, I set those values uh, minimum 1,000 maximum 2,000 uh, minimum command 1,000 and uh, yeah that's uh, just what you want for uh, your tiny whoops. Uh, I, I'm no expert with this. I'll admit it right now, but um. When I have a problem, I research extensively until I figure it out. It drives the wife crazy because I'll be up to like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning until I figure it out. I just I can't sleep. You know. So um, you record all those values, um, your lowest points, your highest points, including the throttle. Um, label them 0, 1, 2, and 3 because um, you're going to want to uh, type in uh, RX range later, which I'll show you here in a second. Go to your CLI tab, and what you want to do is 
type in status. As you can see right here, it says Army Disabled Flag 0x1000. Um, if you have an F3 or an F1 board uh, with the new Beta Flight uh, 3.2 or the new Beta Flight configurator, um, you're going to get a decimal value. Um, anything else, it should show up. Uh, uh, a, uh, it'll show up what the fault is in, in writing. Um, and then all you have to do is go to GitHub, which I'll show you here in a second. So it shows up 0x1000, all right? Um, I'm pretty sure this, this is just a, uh, this is just a normal thing because my CLI is actually plugged up into my quad and that's why it's coming up there. And I will show you here in a second. So, all right, where you want to go to is under your uh, uh, github.com, bedflight, uh, wiki arming, sequence, and safety. If you go under here, if you don't have an F1, F3 board, and you're able to compute a lot more data, um, you'll get these numbers here. Uh, fail save, uh, such and such, such and such. But if you get that value like I did, what you're going to want to do is... Corner Army Preventions. Um, there's a little uh, tab here, Runtime Configurator. Go into that, click on that, and you're going to come up into this screen. And these are all values that you get. So if you look at this number right here, what I do is I will copy that. Oop. Copy, and then go under your search engine again. Let's go under... Uh, this new tab I got here, and I always go under Google. Um, this wife's computer uh, was flooded out a couple years ago, so my uh, my Apple laptop and my nice gaming tower I had was washed underwater. Well, we're all starting over here, and picking up the what we got missing. That's for sure. Um, so what you want to do is paste that into the tab, and um, Paste that under the tab, and you want to type in to binary, and this is going to change the value of the number, which is this. So starting, uh, it's kind of complicated and pain in the butt, but it's pretty simple when you follow these steps. So starting from this step right here, you got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 will be the number right there. So 12 at at 1. Um, if you have more 1s in here, those are different faults. Every time you see this 1 pop up in here, you're going to notice... You're going to notice there's, there's another problem that the CLI is picking up. So you take those numbers... Um, but my number right here is 12. If it was right here, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It'd be under four, but in this case, it's 12. So go back under uh, your CLI. You got 12? No, nope, I don't want to go back to CLI, actually. You want to go back to this one right here. Um, and, of course, my number was 12 equals the number one. Um, hence what I was showing you every time you see the number one, that's where it's at. So 12 equals number one. Um, arming disabled CMS menu. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm a dummy, so I really don't know what that means. It's probably because my, uh, my quads actually hooked up to, um, up to the CLI and beta flight. So it's just probably just going to pop up like that regardless. Number of these CLL CLI is active. Okay, I was right. Holy cow, I'm right. Exit the CLI. Okay, so that's how you find your problem. Um, what I was having before, and I'll go over this, was the number uh, for your secrets. Fail safe switches on. It was a. Let me go back into this one. I was coming up with a throttle. I mean. Army disabled because of the throttle, um, meaning that your uh, your trim back in here. Let's go under throttle. 
be straddle channel is too high. Meaning, you know, over over time with your quads, in this case, I've had my beta, beta FPV 65S for, you know, a couple months, and my Holly Bro Shirk and X1, I've had that for like a good year and just started flying it after not being in the air for six months just a few days ago, and I was having problems with that too. So, in order to fix this throttle change or this throttle problem that you have, and if you went under your, your endpoints, um, of course, in your receiver, uh, hold on. I'll reconnect here. Go over your endpoints in your receiver, and you notice there are just some off the wall numbers when you throttle down. What I went through uh, just a few minutes ago, um, then you need to change it. And there's, uh, to me, there's two different ways of changing it. You can either change it in your transceiver. Uh, so in my case, I got the um, Tranus Plus Special Edition. You can change it in there. Um, there's tutorials on that. Or I find it more easier just to change it in your CLI. So to change your throttle trim in your CLI to correct it, I think it corrects itself. Um, you, you input the numbers that you recorded. Uh, what you want to do is type in RX range All right and there's your ranges um, I think this is the last one that I had set I don't know what those new ones are but um, now what you do is you uh, RX range zero type in zero one thousand and I had a number of 1992. Okay, so I hit enter. Plug in my Tranus. My battery's running dead. I just didn't want it screaming in the mic. Alright, and you do the same thing for all the, uh, the different uh, uh, channels. Uh, channels uh, uh, 1 through 4, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, do the same thing, RX. Range. Okay, so you got all your inputs in there. Um, these are perfect values right here. Uh, I just typed them in because I think it uh, uh, recalibrates it. Um, just the only thing it should adjust is my RX range to uh, uh, channel zero, um, which I think was my uh, roll, I believe. Um, because my number wasn't 2,000 here, it's going to adjust it um, and make it uh, uh, so when my endpoints go up, it should show up 1,500 too when I plug it back in. So after you type all that in, uh, just type save in the tab there. All right, this should open back up. On the receiver. Transmitter battery low. And I'll batteries got in here and they're pretty almost to the 1500 there except for that first one I couldn't get it exact but a little bit of trim with your um, controller will fix that up really quick but I did this because my uh, let me turn this controller off I, uh, I did that a uh, little step through the CLI commands and um, plugged my quad back up and it was arming just fine it was working like it was new even the throttle was even more punchier um, so I think I actually got more uh, performance out of it like um, it was new again. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to resist the eye. How rude. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 